I wanted to discuss 101. Today we're going to talk about proper positioning. Again, wound up, separate lower body from her upper body, sitting at what's called the 9 o'clock turn, weight transferring back to front foot, powering through your throw fully, and if need be, if you're not stopping yourself, do what's called a switch. Notice here, a lot of people like to go back and forth horizontally with your arm, but that wears out the muscles there, so make sure you're just up and down. So here's the wound up here. We sit here and get up high. Now make sure left arm and right arm are at a T, straight, as you can see with that red line there. We need to be straight, get wound up as much as possible so we're separating our hips, which is from our lower body, from our upper body. As we do so, we come around. We get a little bit lower in that. That hip right there when we turn, we need a high right leg if we're a right-handed thrower, and that hip needs to basically be falling to the center of the ring so we're able to uh, catch ourselves or bringing that right leg up right here. We need to bring that right leg up at about 90 degrees. We could go up a little bit more there, which needs to, so you're able to get that toe landed straight and you're able to keep turning on that toe. That's the point of getting that right leg up, you're driving to the center of the ring. Turn around here. This is a good position. Power position. We're powering through it. That discus is all the way back. Left arm is about to come in fully. We're going to transfer right from the back leg to the front leg. So right to left. As we do so, we do a switch. So we replace where the left foot was with the right foot. You need to spin around and catch yourself. Once again, here it is. Straight wound up. Nice and tall. Right here, we're going to sit at the nine o'clock turn it's referred to right where your foot your right leg is about to come up is that nine o'clock so we need to sit down sink your hips right before we go and do that lean to the center of the ring and as we do so we're able to lift that leg up crossing over cross over there and get that knee up so we're able to get that toe across and powering through and switching through. So here it is again without all those lines. So we get that full wind up there. As we turn, we're separate. Our hips are ahead of our upper body. Get a wide right leg. We're powering up with that 90 degree leg. Staying on that toe. Keep turning. Powering through, sticking it, and switching your feet. Ready to get is again faster motion. Here, this is a good power position. Left leg is straight, transferring the weight from the back foot to the front foot. Discus is back, left arm is in. And so power through that sucker and whip it out there. That's good positioning right there. That's what we want to see. So here it is in full time. One, two, three. That's our pace. One, two, three. That first turn is nice and slow, and then that last turn just speeds it up. Here's a guy, Ryan Krauser. Notice how he gets his arm all the way back. He's wound up. Hey, he's sitting at that 9 o'clock. Really good wide right leg right there and leaning towards the center of the ring. That's key. He's got a great leg to get to that hurdle, that 90-degree so he's able to turn on that toe, as you can tell, and then he's going to power through. This is a good positioning right here by Ryan. He's going to power through from that back leg and transfer his weight to his front. Notice he's watching that left arm and sinks in, powers through and switches and spins around to catch himself. Here he is in full time. Good. He throws over 200s. No big deal.